stood in morning's eastern glow, saw the farmer in the field, how and rose to straighten long, planting crops and judging yields. Chin on shoulder, hand on wheel, mind is sharp, the skin is craft. Counting on that crop to grow, moving forward, looking back. This is Ethiopia. An Ethiopia that few have ever seen. And certainly not what we would expect to see after so many TV images of a dust-swept, barren land. It's an Ethiopia that I knew very little about. What has never made the news about Ethiopia is its diverse ecosystems and its abundant animal and plant species. The full importance of this biological diversity, or biodiversity, is only now being uncovered. Through centuries of agriculture, farmers have been planting and conserving an enormous number of different seeds. Yet, it is the farmer's ingenuity that has largely gone unnoticed. Until now, that is. Over several thousand years, this was one of the handful of places where people began to farm. Little did farmers know then that they had begun planting seeds that are now cherished the world over. These seeds can produce food in places as different from one another as Canada is from Ethiopia. And without these seeds, your food and mine could be harder to come by in the future. People from around the world are now coming to Ethiopia to learn how farmers are conserving some of the rarest seeds on the planet. This training is part of the unique USC Canada Seeds of Survival program, which works with scientists and farmers to train people in conserving and maintaining diverse seeds. USC selected Canadian farmer Anne Macy to participate in this training. Well, when I go to Ethiopia, I'll hopefully be learning a lot about seed saving and preserving genetic diversity, how crops are developed, adapted to local conditions. Well, I'm feeling very excited at the moment. When I first heard I was going, I could, couldn't really believe that it could be true. And I feel very privileged to being given this opportunity to go and see what's going on there. The potential which lies within Ethiopia's diverse seeds was first more widely realized in the mid-60s, when the yellow dwarf virus posed a serious threat to the barley crop in North America. It was a barley seed from Ethiopia that came to the rescue. This seed variety contained genetic traits that made it immune to the deadly virus, protecting the multi-million dollar barley crop of Canada and the US. As we walk into our supermarkets, it's easy to forget where our food comes from. And so, it is quite amazing for many of us to realize how connected the food on our grocery store shelves is to farmers in places like Ethiopia. But it is here, in the mountains and in the valleys of Ethiopia, where you and I will discover that ancient seeds developed through generations of farming may indeed hold some of our best hopes for feeding people around the world tomorrow. <laughs>